Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, yeah, we're talking about another knife I picked up when I was at Blade Show West. When you guys have seen uh, most of them, I think this might be the last one, you know, the Sea Otter and the Sirius and the, the Centros from the Blade Show West exclusive Centros. Well, this is the full-size pincer from Monterey Bay Knives. Now, it is actually the full-size version of this knife. This is the original Min Pin from Ray Laconico and MBK. So as you can see, this is the full-size version of the Min Pin. You have the Min Pin, and now you have the pincer. So there you go. Now, this knife is another fantastic fantastic knife coming out of monterey bay knives as you can see here you got full titanium with this fat carbon inlay this one is called mars valley you know it's kind of that reddish orange and black i mean you guys can kind of see why i was uh drawn to it if you've been with me for any time at all one it's a laconico and it's got red on it red ish so yeah it's pretty much going home with me but they had this, the Mars Valley. They also had one called Toxic Storm, uh, Dark Matter Copper, White Storm, and then they had one with a carbon fiber inlay. Now, the ones you'll see on the website right now at Monterey Bay Knives, those are the full titanium. They're full titanium. They're M390 steel. Uh, these fat carbon versions were actually ZDP 189. So, very, very cool. They went with a little bit different blade steel. Uh, with these guys and I think that's pretty cool there you go full titanium titanium backspacer titanium pocket clip now it is right hand tip up carry only you do have a spot for a lanyard lanyard fans as you can see it is a frame lock your relief is on the outside everything is chamfered up very very well uh, it, it's done extremely well now the inlay does stand just a tiny bit proud of the titanium. I mean, I can actually, I can catch my fingernail if I try real hard. But it just, to me, this looks really cool. And some of the other ones, especially the uh, the dark matter copper, that one looked really, really cool as, as well. That was probably be my second choice, to be perfectly honest with you. But flipper, you do have some jimping on the flipper tab. Um, the way the flipper tab is you know the way it's shaped and ooh, a little gunky there um and yeah the jimping catches your finger enough but actually the flipper tab does pretty much a good enough job detent man for me that detent is just about perfect and i don't know if you can see the action on this thing but it's a serious dropper guys holy smokes i mean it yep watch the thumbnail I need to get my thumbnail up there or I'm going to bleed. It, it drops. I mean, this action is absolutely crazy. There you go. You got Ray Laconico there on the spine of the blade. Action's fantastic. Oh, it feels so good in hand. Nice, good looking blade. Nice swedge. Finish. Nice satin finish on it. Ooh, sorry guys. I didn't mean to shine that in your eyes. MBK there. Man, that's just a sweet looking blade. Really now a little bit different than this guy. You know, the more prototypical, what I tend to think of when I think of a Laconico knife. You know, that more drop-ish point blade. You know, it's cool to have a little bit of variation. And I was not gonna leave without this knife, just because it, it's a Laconico, guys. You guys know I'm a Laconico nut. And it once I picked it up, felt the action, the fat carbon. Yeah, it was over. Let's be real. It was over. But great knife. All right, let's get our specs on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty much all of eight inches on this guy. You're looking at about a four and a half inch handle and a three and a half ish inch blade. Cutting edge is going to be right about three and a quarter. Your overall grip length, if you go point to point, you're looking at about three and a half inches. 
Um, can you choke up? Uh, yeah, you can if you use my old trigger method there on the flipper tab. You can choke up on it. That's how it looks kind of in my three and three quarter inch hand. You know, larger hands, you might be squeezed in there a little bit. You know, because you do have that point to point there that does kind of, and if you start to go off that point, it might not be the most comfortable. But hey, you know, what can I say? Uh, it is super, super comfortable in my hand. <clears throat> Excuse me, can't feel that pocket clip really at all. Man, just an overall, overall really good. Oh, I forgot to show you the choil. There you go. Choil is done very, very well. Nice little sharpening choil in there. Yeah. They, Sanford and Ray, man, they just do things right in the shop, man. They just really do. And you guys know, you've heard how much I, I am enjoying the sea otter. Well, you know what? I'm enjoying this one just about as much. So there you go. That's how it looks up against the PM2. You're really close. Really, really close as far as overall. Yeah. Overall length, you're right there. Really, really right there. We'll throw out the bug out there just because that's what we do. And then, of course, I'm going to throw out a couple of their knives. I'll throw out the min pin once again just so you can kind of see the difference in the two sizes overall. And then let's get the old sea otter out there and we'll put it up against the sea otter and kind of just see how they measure up. The sea otter is a smaller knife, but again, oh, just a man, just a beautiful, beautiful knife. So that kind of gives you an idea overall of the size. Let's get a weight on it. Three point nine ounces, man. That's not bad for that knife. For as big as that knife is, one hundred eleven grams. That's not bad at all. Thing carries like a dream. Carries very well in pocket. The clip, as you can see, it went over that little bit of a pop going in and in and out of my jeans pocket. Great retention. There you go. That's kind of how it sits on there, so you're not sitting exactly on the cutout. Your relief there at all. It's just, it's really, there again, it's just really well thought out and well done. Overall, guys, yeah, I mean, you know I'm digging it. It's a Laconico knife. It's a Monterey Bay knife. Yeah, I mean, and if you, if you get one of these things in hand and just operate it. Now, the only thing that you might not like is, of course, that, that super drop. That doesn't bother me. You just have to know. You got to know your knife, right, and know what it's like. That's just so smooth. Silly smooth. No shake whatsoever, guys. It just drops right in there. So nice. And then the other point, you know, for larger hands, I could see where that might be an issue there going from point to point. But like I said, you can kind of choke up. You have to be careful. Got to use the old trigger method there on the flipper tab. But you can choke up if need be. Other than that, this is just an absolutely terrific terrific knife i am so glad that i got the opportunity uh to pick one of these up so glad i got to talk to ray and sanford again if you guys i swear if you ever get the opportunity to go to like a blade show or even go visit carmel cutlery when you're down in the bay area you gotta go see ray you gotta go see ray might not be in the shop sanford will probably be in the shop i'm guessing both fantastic, fantastic guys. And guys, watch their Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, uh, might be a little harder. Maybe go to the uh, the website, MontereyBay.com. I'll put links down in the description so you guys can, you know, know where to go. But these are, they've kind of been doing uh, flash drops, if you will. They had a bunch of them made up. Uh, for Blade Show West, and we're selling them there. I've seen on their Instagram where they did uh, a flash drop or two on them. Are they going to do more? I don't know. I've heard there's definitely a possibility of there being more flash drops of these fat carbon. And if you actually go to the website and check out the actual full titanium ones, um, it does look like the full titanium ones are in stock, and they sell for $215. So, like I said, they're full tie 
M390 on those, satin finish. Um, I have no reason to believe that accent isn't just as amazing as it is on these. Because like I said, these guys do a phenomenal, phenomenal job on these knives. So, guys, comments, questions, let me know down in the in the comments. If I don't know the answer, I can... I'm sure I could probably find out for you. Um, I talk to Sanford every once in a while on Instagram and so on. So just let me know. I'd be glad to help you find something out, guys, if I can, as always, for sure. Um, overall, guys, what do we give it? I, I'm going to give it a solid 8.5. It's a beautiful knife. It's a fantastic knife. Um, might not be for everybody just because of the, you know, the point to point on the handle and stuff might not be for bigger hands. Now I know our good friend Peter for a therapeutic edge, he has one and he speaks highly of it and he's got decently large hands. So, you know, might not be an issue. Um, definitely not an issue for me. Uh, yeah, great knife. And, oh, I, you know what? I can't even remember what I well, this was a show, and they kind of had some show prices on stuff. So, um, when you watch, well, let me see Instagram. What did they do? Let me do. Let's see. They did a flash drop on this one. This is the. This is the. Which one is this? This is the Fat Carbon. Uh, I thought that was the one that they did the flash sale on. Maybe not. Maybe it was this one. Yep, flash drop. Okay, that was the... Which one was this one? This one was the carbon fiber. Oh, man. God, that looks... No, that's a dark... Yeah, dark matter fat carbon. God, that looks good. Um, And it doesn't give a price. It just says sold. So I don't know... Ex I don't remember exactly what they were selling for, guys. I'm sorry. But there you go. Like I said, let me know what you think down in the comments, guys. Always appreciate you stopping by. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye-bye.